Hi, I'm Ryan Collector from Gun University. I'm a former Special Operations Sniper, Sniper Instructor, and I'm the best-selling author of the Long Range Shooting Handbook. And I'm here to help you answer two questions. What is a minute of the angle, and how do you use it when you're shooting long range? <laughs> Well, first to understand what the minute of angle is, let's look at the phrase itself. Minute of angle. The word minute here refers to 1 60th of something. Think of one minute of an hour is 1 60th of an hour. Well, same thing here. One minute here is 1 60th of some angle. That angle is one degree in a 360 degree circle. So imagine a 360 degree circle, take one of those degrees and divide it up into 60 little chunks. One of those is one minute of angle. So why do we use that in shooting? Well, it's one of the two angular measurements we use. The other one is mils or mil radians. We're not getting into that in this video, but we have another video on that topic for you. It's one of the systems we use to refer to adjustments on a target, to adjust for distance and elevation, to adjust for windage, and even just in communication back and forth between a spotter or another shooter that's out there. And here's how we use it. A minute of angle, being an angular measurement, means it has no linear size. Linear size means you can't really measure it with a tape measure. So for example, the minute of angle measurement is this. It's the angle that we're talking about, not the length, not the height. It's an angle. Well, one minute of angle is really useful in shooting because imagine if we had two laser pointers and I pointed them down range at 100 yards and I spread them one minute of angle apart. Well, those laser dots would continue to get further and further apart until they got to the 100 yard target. And at a 100 yard target, those dots would be about one inch apart if they were one minute of angle. I say about because one minute of angle is actually 1.047 inches at 100 yards. I think about one inch is enough, and I think I'll prove it to you in just a second. Technically though, that's the answer. So those dots would spread about one inch apart at 100 yards. If they continue going down range to 200 yards, how far apart are those dots? Let's think about it. If they started here, and they spread further and further apart to 100, they would continue to spread apart at that same rate till they got to 200 which means that they would be about two inches apart. Still one minute of angle, but it's two inches apart because it's 200 yards. At 300 yards, how far apart would those dots be if they're one minute of angle? Well, they're about one inch at 100, about two inches at 200, that's right, they're three inches at 300 yards, and so on, continuing forever. So let's say out of the 1,000 yards, they would be about 10 inches apart. Now remember when I said about is good enough and I know I'm supposed to be talking about all this precision and all these measurements and all this high-tech equipment and I'm just rounding and fudging numbers? Well, here's why. If you take the precise number, the 1.047, because you've got to be exact, my answer at 1,000 yards is one minute of angle is about 10 inches. If you use the exact number, your math would be 10.47 inches. I argue that 0.47 inch difference at 1,000 yards is enough to ignore. I mean, unless you're good enough that you can shoot a bullet at 1,000 yards and put another bullet 0.47 inches next to it, I can't. I don't think you can. I say it's worth ignoring. Now, that might be a bad example because that looked pretty easy. But what about at 600 yards? If I were to ask you, how big is a minute of angle at 600 yards? Using my method of rounding, I can say it's about 6 inches. You times that by 6 in your head gets a little tougher, doesn't it? So for easy purposes, for everyday purposes, just round to about six inches at 600 yards is the answer for one minute of angle. So how is this useful in shooting? Well, when we're making adjustments on a rifle, we're making adjustments in our scope and we're changing the angle of the barrel of the rifle to get a different impact for the bullet at range. So when I make an adjustment in my scope, in order to get the reticle back on the target, I need to move my barrel up, for example, one minute of angle. Or if I'm using a windage adjustment, minutes of angle, I need to move the angle of my barrel to the right, three minutes of angle. And by moving that barrel, we can then compensate and figure out that trajectory change at distance. So how does this work in practice? Well, the first thing I wanna ask you to do is think about minutes of angle in chunks at a certain distance. 
What I mean by that is, the second you know how far a target is, if you're going to use minutes of angle, you might use mils. But if you're going to use minutes, start automatically thinking in chunks of that size at that distance. And I keep saying at the distance because if I were to ask you how many inches are a minute of angle, do you know what the answer is? At what distance? You don't know by itself. You have to know the distance to know how big it is. So let's say we're shooting at a 600 yard target. Here's a target at 600 yards, okay? You're aiming here. Your bullet impacts here. Let's say you were 12 inches low, okay? You need to know how much to adjust. Well, I told you that it's a 600 yard target. So as soon as I say 600 yards, I want your brain to start thinking in minute of angle chunks. How big is a minute of angle at 600 yards? That's right, it's about six inches. So I want you, as soon as you hear me say 600 yard target, six inch chunks. Start thinking in six inch chunks. When you miss 12 inches low, I want you to ask yourself how many of those six inch chunks fit within that adjustment? Well, how many six inch chunks fit within 12 inches? Two of them, right? One, two. Two minutes of angle. That means to come up, we would adjust up two minutes of angle on our scope. We should adjust the barrel up two minutes of angle, which at 600 yards would be a 12 inch adjustment. We would hit. Let's try another example. Let's say we're shooting at 300 yards. What did I just tell you to do? I said 300 yards. What are you supposed to be thinking of right now? That's right, you're supposed to be thinking three inch chunks. He said 300 yards, my brain automatically goes to three inch chunks. I'm thinking in minutes of angle. Okay, you're trying to aim here. Instead, you hit 15 inches low. How many minutes of angle do you need to come up? Well, how many three inch chunks fit into that 15 inch measurement? Five of them. I need to come up five, one, two, three, four, five, three inch chunks. So I come up on my scope. One, two, three, four, five minutes of angle. I shoot again, I hit the target in the center. Why? Because we're using angular measurements, which can change with distance, but allow us to move the orientation of the barrel to get the hits where we want. That's one way we use minutes of angles, making adjustments. I hope you can see already how easy that is than to zero your rifle. If you're shooting at 100 yards, one inch chunks, and you're four inches low, you need to come up four minutes. If you're three inches right, you need to come left three minutes. It's pretty darn easy. Another way we use minutes of angle is to know our adjustments to hit at a certain target. We used to like to call this dope when we're shooting long range, as data on previous engagements, is I wanna know what I need to adjust to be able to hit a target. So for my 308, when I'm shooting 500 yards, I know I need 12 minutes of angle up. That's where I refer to the adjustment I need to hit a 500 yard target. What that means is 12 minutes of angle higher than my 100 yard zero. The reason I always zero to 100 yards is because the only adjustments I need to make on my scope are up. That's true even if the bullet is closer. I might have lost you on that one, so hold that thought and I want to go back to it. So if I'm shooting, I'm looking through my scope, this way. My barrel is actually angled underneath my scope because my scope is looking straight at the target. My barrel is angled up and I adjusted 12 minutes of angle, so my barrel is angled 12 minutes up. Here's my 500 yard target and the, belt, the bullet leaves the barrel and flies and hits the target. That's how the bullet's trajectory path goes. But that doesn't mean the bullet rises. Yes, if this was flat ground, that looks like it's rising because it's getting further away from the ground and falling. What's actually happening is the barrel's angled up. We'll do that. If there was a laser coming out of the barrel, the laser would do this. The bullet is actually falling away from that trajectory as it goes, hits all the way to 500. Either way, I'm adjusting up 12 minutes to 500 but I just said I adjust up even closer. We did this video 10 years ago about on what is minute of angle, and that was a lot of questions we had on there, so let me try and explain it. If my rifle is zeroed at 100 yards, here's my scope. I'm looking at a 100 yard target, okay? My barrel is barely angled up underneath. The bullet, let's see if I can draw this here, is rising to the 100 and then falling away. That's what it's doing to hit at 100 yards because we know the scope's on top of the barrel. So if I put a target one meter 
in front of my scope, and I aimed at a certain spot on that target, where would the bullet hit? Would it hit high, above where I was aiming, or would it hit below where I was aiming? That's right, it would hit below. If my bullet hits low, which direction do I need to adjust to hit where I'm aiming? Up. If the target was here, and I'm aiming right there, is the bullet going to hit high, or is it going to hit low? It's going to hit low, which means I need to adjust up to hit that target when it's closer than 100. I know that might be counterintuitive, but when it's closer than 100, you also need to adjust up. That's why I love zeroing my rifle at that distance. For me, with my 308, it's about four minutes at 25 yards, and it's about two minutes at 50 yards. Let's do that math real quick. At 25 yards, this might confuse you, I'm sorry about this one, but in the minute of angle is actually one fourth of an inch. One inch, half inch, one fourth of an inch. So in order to come up a one inch adjustment, I need to come up four minutes of angle, it hits at 25 yards. If you've ever shot at anything close and missed, it might be because you were aiming low. Instead, you needed to be aiming high. I hope that helps. So we've answered what a minute of angle is. I've given you two examples of how we use it in shooting. In another video, I'm going to break down mils or mil radians the exact same way, and we're going to go out to the range and show you how both work when we're shooting at targets at distance.